Hey guys, what is up? Oliver Paul BC here, and today, uh, based off the great success of my um, video around the Player of the Year, Sean Maguire, got at the moment it's got 121 views and six likes. Thank you guys so much for watching that and enjoying it. Hopefully, a lot of you did. I thought that I'll since the, the DKT, the Daily Knockout Tournament, has a requirement of one nation. I thought, why not do it around the hero, Christian Eriksen card? So let's get into his stats. Obviously, any Christian Eriksen card, even though he hasn't scored one in the Premier League for, I think, two years, is going to have great free kicks. These are A9 free kicks. He'll definitely be on them. Stamina is easily enough to last 120 minutes. His strength is a bit low, but I think he's got quality everywhere else. Where just like, It doesn't really matter what his strength is. He will be away from his defenders easily anyway. Um, Gresham doesn't really matter for a cam. 90 composure is absolutely fantastic. 89 long shots is just amazing because from my cam I want to have great long shots. Finishing is 80 which is high enough to be where if he ends up in the box he can put it in the back of the net. Shot power is an 85 which is also really good. Be able to get power behind those long shots. Vision crossing free kicks as I've already mentioned. Curve, long pass and short pass is obviously all amazing. Agility is a bit low for a cam. I usually like them to be high 80s or 90 but I think he's got the shooting stats to make up for it. And then his, the rest of his dribbling stats are also great. And yeah, let's get into the rest of the team. Okay, so in goal, it's a toss-up between two people. I, you guys all know who it is. They share the same last name, father and son. I've gone with Kasper Schmeichel, since I happen to spend about 90% of all my coins on the Hero Eriksson. <laughs> um, Schmeichel's just by far a decent enough keeper to do the job. And yeah, let's move on to the right back. At right back, we have... Ankerson. We'll do the two centre backs at once since I haven't really got much to say about them. Christensen's a bit slow and a bit weak but got great defence and Kajai is just a pretty well rounded centre back. Also not too fast but not too slow either. At left back we've got the second most expensive player in the team in Domissi. He looks on his stats as a goal card and from what I've read up it looks like he is a fantastic player in real life and deserves to be above the 75 quota. But um, yeah, he's got four-star skill moves as a left back, and you can see his stats there, they're incredible. Got great shot power, aggression, stamina, everything you need in a fullback, really. His defense could be better, but considering he's a silver, 66 is fairly high. At CDM, we have someone who is conventionally a CM, but I've converted him, because De Denmark don't have the strongest CDMs. Uh, he's a really well-rounded card. At right CM, we've got a card that I'm sure a lot of you play guys did, because he wasn't that expensive, but I'm sure a lot of you guys didn't as well, because you wouldn't think that there'll be much of a use for him. In Player of the Year and it's Christensen, uh, as you can see right there, he's got absolutely phenomenal stats. The question was never about his um, ability, it's just about how hard it is to get him into a squad, but if you've got a full Denmark squad, then it's pretty easy to put him into a squad. At left CM, we probably have the second best player in the team behind Christian Eriksen in Vass. As you guys can see there, he's got fantastic stats, and top day is 5 for 11 with 3 star 3 star, which does the job fine for me. I would love to have 4 star weak foot, but it's fine. And finally, last, just like the centre backs, we're going to do these two together. We have Poulsen and Braithwaite. Both have the, uh, good enough pace. They both like a bit in shooting, especially Poulsen, but they've both got good strength and 4 star, 4 star on Braithwaite, 3 star, 3 star on Poulsen. So as you guys can see, Poulsen doesn't have the best stats for a striker, but I just wanted to giant in there at 6 foot 4 with that pace, and he's going to be a really unique card. Alright, let's get into the gameplay. Alright guys, I'm going to start this off with an apology. For some reason, it didn't save or something with the first game. We did manage to beat the first game against the Belgian team uh, on penalties, unfortunately. You guys just saw we're versing a French team here. We start the game with a nice bit of skill with Ericsson. Outside of the right foot, bang. No idea how he got that in there, but I'm very grateful that he did. So this Hero Ericsson card is the real deal, guys. If you can afford it, I definitely recommend you pick it up. As you guys can see, my opponent throws it to me accidentally. I play a through ball. Ericsson takes a shot, just doesn't go in. Braithwaite reacts fastest and gets the goal to put us 2 0 to the good. 83rd minute, I'm feeling pretty confident here. Um, I know I can probably concede one goal and be okay, so I'm not defending as hard as I possibly could. Uh, they get to Martial. I think I defend it pretty well. I've got no idea how that went in apart from the fact that it's Martial. Picks up the ball, trying to get on with it. Two in game minutes later, guys. In for Malison, Drini down the wing, into Mbappe. That was always going to be a goal. This guy made the biggest mistake of his life here, though. He's dabbing. This ain't weekend league, boy. You know what happens when you dab on someone? Two in-game minutes later. Into Hero Messi. Sorry, 
into Hero uh, Erickson. Sorry about that. I don't know why I said that. Heads it, and he gets the treatment back at him. Come on, you can't dab on me. You can't dab on someone. And th and then like 80% of the teams, this uh, DKT, a French team, about 80% of the regular people you see in there. The right back changes a bit, and the midfield changes a bit, depending on how many coins everyone has. The front three is pretty much the same every game. My opponent here starts the game really well with a perfect shot from Usman Dembele. And then he comes back again really quick with Martial. He's dabbing on me. Uh, 26 minute down 2 nil. I'm a bit worried. I know if I get one back pretty quickly, then I'm back in the game. Which is exactly what we do with Paulson. Puts it, put me down only 2-1 with plenty of football left to be played. And then this happens. I'll let my face, my live face when this happened, explain. Yeah. I don't even know. We come through, Ericsson takes a pretty dreadful touch, to be honest, but we fortunately get taken down the box. <clears throat> this is the 88th minute now, so I was on all that attack. Try to go top, right. Yeah, you just saw what happened. <laughs> Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. See you next time.